डियर फ्रेंड्स इन केमिस्ट्री एसिड्स एंड बेसिस आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट क्लासेस we classified the acids and bases by considering the taste acids possess sour taste but bases possess bitter taste historically the classification of acids and bases was by using taste later we understood that acid possess h plus ions and bases possess oh minus ions so we removed that first classifier into a different classifier so we know that what is a classifier in chemistry historically acid base classifier acids and bases were classified by using certain descriptors like taste later by h plus ions count another classification attempt in chemistry was in periodic table mentally if used atomic masses as the best classifier but atomic structure revealed that in addition to atomic masses we can also use atomic numbers as the best classifier when we are using atomic number or outer outer electronic configuration of an element we can classify the elements into metals and non metals so another classification criteria in chemistry was number of electrons present in the valency shell and also atomic number was the basic criteria for classifying elements into different categories in organic chemistry also we use the certain classifiers aromaticity was one of the classifier if a compound possess a particular aroma we use to call that compound as aromatic otherwise we will we used to call it as alicyclic later we understood that aromaticity is not because of smell not only because of smell it is something else so organic chemistry also used certain classifier in order to distinguish between certain compounds from some other compounds so classification or using using of usage of classifier in chemistry is not a new thing you already used several several kinds of classifiers in chemistry when science changed when chemistry changed classification criteria is also changed if if taste was smell was the criteria for classification now more sophisticated criteria developed mathematics statistics and logics are now using in order to develop the classifiers so what is a classifier a classifier is a parameter or a quality or an attribute or a combination of attribute by which we can classify which can, which by which we can divide entire compound set into different categories for example if there are large number of properties for a compound we used to call it as descriptors among that if a particular descriptor is responsible for the classification if a particular parameter is responsible for the classification then that descriptor can be considered as a classifier when data mining approaches developed 
classifier got a different meaning now the classifier is having a very different meaning even though the concept is same now a classifier is an algorithm which can use which can find out which descriptor is responsible for the classification so classifier is a decision maker he will study entire descriptor set in a data data set and he will decide which one is and he will decide which one is having a particular property and which one is not having that particular property for example if you want to know that which descriptor is responsible for tuberculosis activity you have large number of descriptors developed from cdk descriptor tools toolkit if you are using a vecca classifier for example if you are using any of the vecca classifier that vecca classifier is going to understand which descriptor or which set of descriptors are responsible for the particular classification that means which descriptors are classifying the compounds into tuberculosis active or tuber tuberculosis inactive so in order to understand about classifier now it is better to understand just like this a classifier is a decision maker that decision maker is studying the different descriptors and telling you that which compound is active and which compound is inactive how this classifier understand which compound is active and which compound is inactive in order to understand which compound is active and which compound is inactive we want to train the classifier first as we used to train the students which one is good and which one is bad which one is wrong and which one is correct so we are we are collecting large number of data with experimental result we are collecting large number of data with experimental result and we will train the classifier with that experimental result for example if you are taking 100 compounds with ag tuberculosis activity and 100 compounds with tuberculosis inactivity we used to say that it is a balanced data set and in 100 compounds when the tuberculosis activity is showing certain kind so kind of pattern is available in the data set descriptors certain kind of pattern is available in the data in the descriptor set similarly when the compounds are inactive another set of pattern is available if a classifier can understand which kind of pattern is available in the active sets and which kind of pattern is available in the inactive set that particular understanding is known as training